All right, so we're taking a look at a new F7 flight stack from SpeedyB. This is a 20 by 20 size, the F7 Mini is what they're calling it. So obviously stack comes with a flight controller and a 4-in-1 ESC. Let's take a look at the flight controller first. Yeah, it's a 20 by 20 board, pretty good size solder pads. Everything's nicely labeled. And of course there's a very good wiring diagram up on the product page. I'll uh, flash it up here briefly. You have a USB-C port on this one. It's your Betaflight OSD chip here. Your F7 chip is here on the back. So this one is the F722 variant. You have two voltage regulators on here. So if you want to use this with a DJI system, um, no problems. 9 volts, 2 amp, and a 5 volt, 2 amp BC on this flight controller board. So you're all good to go there. And of course you have a Bluetooth chip on here, a Bluetooth radio for the SpeedB app, of course, so you can connect to this and configure your settings in Betaflight. Um, the, one of the unique features of this new stack is it will come in BlueJ firmware on the ESCs and you should be able to update and uh, control your uh, BL Heli settings or BlueJ settings. Uh, in the uh, SpeedyB app via the Bluetooth radio, so you can connect to it wirelessly and also update the BlueJ firmware wirelessly. That is a new feature. Now, the thing is, that's different, or well, the thing that's kind of a downside is that it only has a, Blue, a Bluetooth chip or Bluetooth radio. It does not have a Wi-Fi radio or Wi-Fi chip on here, so you can't update the firmware uh, wirelessly or through Wi-Fi using the SpeedyB app. Only change the settings, so that's one unfortunate downside because it is a small board. There's not a lot of space to put another Wi-Fi chip on here, so they've left that feature out. The ECs on here are 35 amps, so 35 amps each. And you got a little shunt there for a current sensor. Um, you know, it's a okay looking board. There's no like uh, conformal coating or anything I can see on here. It's pretty clean. The motor wire connectors are on the side. They're not super huge, so they're intending this for smaller builds, not like five inch or anything bigger. So they're, you know, uh, targeting two to four inch quads for this stack, which is why you have these smaller pads for like the battery lead, for example, and the motor wires on the side. Um, in fact, you know, when you look at the hardware, it only comes with an XT30 not an XT60. So while you could put this on a five inch, um, the, you know, with the motor wire pads being kind of small, you're gonna have, you know, they're gonna be targeting smaller motors and you probably wanna to stick to something four inches or smaller as they're intending. And of course, in this bag here, you get a 470 microfarad 35 volt capacitor and you get your wiring limb to connect the flight controller to the ESC as via this connector and where's the other side? Over here, this one here. And let's connect those together. So they already installed the little M2 rubber grommets in here for the two holes. And then they, of course they include the M2 mounting hardware as you can see the long screws and washers and nuts. But if you would rather go with an M3, if you want a thicker screws to hold your stack down, of course, by you know, you're adding a lot more weight, they include a full set of M3 hardware and M3 uh, rubber grommets as well. So you can swap those out if you want, but yeah, if, if you're going for a smaller build, you're probably totally fine on M2 only. And a couple of things I missed here on the flight controller, it does come with a black box chip for black box data. The gyro is an MPU 6000 gyro, which is, I'm kind of wondering how, how long, much longer we're gonna be seeing that gyro uh, around on new stacks because I think they stopped manufacturing those because I'm starting to see the new newer BMI and ICM ICM gyro is coming out on some newer stacks. So for those of you that prefer the feel of the MPU 6000 gyro, this one does have that. And I think that ought to cover it for everything here. You know, bootloader button, of course. You know, um, not really sure we're gonna put this in. If you have any suggestions on a build, you know, four inches or smaller that you would like to see this put in, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, it's a pretty, uh, typical stack here with some obviously speedy centric features, you know, with their app and everything in terms of 
Blue Jay firmware and beta flight settings control, etc. Um, that would be, you know, I think that's kind of right up their, their alley for their kind of products and in line with some of the other stuff they put out previously. But that's going to do it for this video. Quick overview here. Let me know what you guys want to see this in in a future video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.